Good morning. What's up guys? Good fucking morning. It's 540. Heading out to go swim. Old alma mater. Skyline High School. We're gonna go take that light was just green for two seconds. I hate that shit. That shit pisses me off. But anyway, beautiful sunrise. Eddie's calling me, he thinks I'm late. I'm not even gonna answer, so he thinks I'm late. I'm just gonna be messing with him. But yeah, we are going to hit up a swim workout right now. Right after Eddie's dumbass stops calling me, I am going to tell you guys the workout. So I woke up, had a, a bowl of like some Greek yogurt, granola, pineapple, and then I'm gonna slam another banana right now. Personally, if you guys are hitting early morning workouts, my preference is just to get up even earlier. I am a believer that you need to be fueled before your morning workout. Think about it, your body hasn't eaten or drank in like anywhere from seven to like nine hours. Imagine just doing that awake. That would be ass. Getting a red light here. Eddie has left me five messages. All right, so our workout of the day, we have a warm up of 100 meters, a 50 meter in 45 seconds, two one by hundreds on the minute, three one fifties. But with these splits, looks like I'm not gonna hit any of them and just gonna be constantly swimming for 45 minutes, like what usually happens, so. <sighs> What's up guys? It's a little random, but I, I was just thinking something. Cause I'm on my way, I'm about to get a haircut, so the stash will look clean. I'm gonna shave the lower, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not shaving the stash. The, the lower is getting shaved. But I wanted to say something, talk about something um, along the lines of hustling. So, I do not have a full-time job. Uh, I do YouTube. I work at the gym part-time and I kind of do my own freelance videos. Part of me, when I decided to stop weightlifting, one of the biggest things was I moved out now, I'm acquiring more bills. So it was hard to justify spending three hours of my time, probably more than that, five hours of my day, centered around weightlifting when I am not making or barely making ends meet. You know, I'm tired of, I don't, like the feeling of living like paycheck to paycheck. Not that I'm like literally doing that, but I would like the luxury of not worrying about going to get fucking Chipotle or worrying about taking my girlfriend on a nice date. I'd like to be able to do that without thinking about the money. So I'm not saying I want to go buy like a Lamborghini. Like I just, I'd like to be more comfortable in that sense. So that was a big reason to contributing to stopping weightlifting. Doing that, you know, with this extra time freed up, you better be damn sure I'm going to make it count. Main point is, if you're a college student or a high school student, this is just some general life advice. I don't have much, 22, like I don't have much, but I have a little bit and this is what I've learned. There's money to be made, services and things you can do to make side jobs. I'm fucking hustling right now. I don't have a stable income. I didn't take the traditional path. I guess I did going into college, but after college, I've taken a pretty random path, it seems. You all have skill. Everybody has different skills, and there is a side hustle out there or a job where you can use those skills. Like, I am just got done filming for Real Estate Guy. I'm helping him with his social media and YouTube videos. It's a side hustle. Pro point I'm trying to make is you just gotta, there's work out there. You just have to take the initiative to go and do it. No one's gonna be doing it for you. You can't just wait until something plops in your lap. Yes, the eventual goal is to be working on my channel, working at the gym full time, doing all that stuff, but it's not at the moment. And you're gonna be in school and you're gonna have to be balancing a lot of things. You're gonna have to be balancing sports. You're gonna have to be balancing finances. You're gonna have to be balancing relationships. Until you can fully take that jump to do what you wanna do full time, there's gonna be that period where you're just putting in extra hours and doing extra shit just to pay the bills. Or And I know all these skills I'm building right now are just going pay off and all come together and it'll be one grand thing you have to have the I believe in the vision that was my TED talk swim workout went like shit I don't know if I'm being a bitch or Eddie's expectations for the swim workout are just way too high maybe some of our elders our elder folks that watch the channel I'm not saying you're super old but people that are older than me have more life experience than me could chime in in the comments 
let people know what's up. Like, yes, I could definitely be going to corporate America right now and be making three times, four times more what I'm making right now, but beware of the honey pots. That's just a, that's just a honey pot distracting you from your larger vision of what you want to do and create. An example I was going to say, but I forgot to say during COVID, when all that shit was shut down, I had so much extra time. I eventually just quit training for like a month because I couldn't do it in my garage. What I did is I started a car detailing business. Didn't know much. Didn't really know anything about detailing cars. YouTube. Fucking YouTube University, that shit. Washed a few cheap cars. Washed a few cars for cheap. A few for free. Just to be like, hey, I washed cars. Boom. With that capital, bought more equipment. And then for the whole summer, me and my friend knocked out cars. I probably made two grand that summer. It was fun. It was a great experience. So just there's always stuff mowing lawns yard work pool care like there's work out there you just you just got to find it you know ask your neighbor ask your mom's friend ask your dad's friend ask your your friends parents like hey I, I'm trying to make some extra money do you got anything for me a lot of times they will support you because they appreciate that initiative and that work ethic because honestly out of this generation them seeing that is like holy shit because our generation is going to shit so that kind of probably makes them happy and they want to support that it's Friday, August 10th, and this energy that I've had the whole week is no longer. Oh yeah, I got a haircut too. It's always nice. It makes me feel a lot cleaner. Take care of yourself, guys. Just I might even start spending more a month on haircuts just if that means I feel better about myself. I think that's a worthy investment. I think there's other things that I can potentially not buy to get a haircut. I don't know. I went fucking hard this week, so I don't want to work out at all right now. I just kind of want to sit around and I don't know. I want to do something other than the grind I've been in. I made a commitment and I owe it to myself. More so thinking about having a jacked body, what comes to mind. This is what it takes. I gotta go work out. Was gonna snatch, clean and jerk, back squat, but now I'm planning on um, just clean and jerking up to like 160 for a single, then back squatting up to 200 for a single, mile run, in and out the door, get home, maybe do something fun, not crazy. But yeah, I need, I need to work out because it's scheduled. I don't want to anymore, but this isn't even about the feeling of training now, like when I don't want to train that I'd have. This is now, this is about, this is me. I need to do this for me now. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. I'm going to pull back a little bit because I do want to remain consistent. I don't want to have a good week, two weeks of working towards my things, my personal goals, my professional goals, and then get lazy for a month. So this weekend, I'm gonna try to pull back a little bit and rest properly. And so I'm fired up for next week. Yeah, so enjoy this raw training footage. So I'm just gonna get in there and try to go hard, get in and out as fast as possible. Thank you. 